Cullum, round one, British Championship 2021. Um, feels like we've went back in time to the start of 2020. Built my team up for 2020 and just didn't really get a lot out of it. Uh, no one got a lot out of 2020. Um, well, we ended up getting another kid. Orla was born in January, which uh, was amazing. So now we've got the whole package. We've got a little boy and a little girl. And we're here in 2021, ready for the first round of the British Championship, and we're excited. Uh, family of four, travel down in the camper. Angus reckons we was going on our holidays, and he, yeah, he's just been loving it. Orla's taken to it really well as well. We were kind of concerned she was going to be uh, a bit, I don't know, sort of taken aback with the long journey in the camper, but. We had some music on, she had a few naps, and Angus was playing with his tractors in the back and he was happy. So now we got down here and I'm just really at the point now at 33 years old where this is all about the racing for me. You know, you can do as much talking as you want about training in the gym and how fast you are on a road bike, mountain bike. It's all about racing and you know everything that I do to get ready now is, is just for that. You know, I spend a lot of my time in the workshop with my dad and we've got a helper now, Seth Moyer, who's been giving us a good hand and we've spent a lot of hours in the workshop, a lot of hours at the track. We have done a couple of cycles. I mean, I've probably done about two or three hours on a mountain bike in the last couple of months, but I'm ready. I really am ready. I feel like last year was a false start and then unfortunately I broke my back. Um, I'm in a good position where it's not bothering me, definitely not bothering me on the bike and I feel comfortable. So when people that's in our hospitality area, when we do get to have sponsors and friends attend our event, they can actually work on the bikes. Ah, put that wrong way around, idiot. I wish I was riding this track. Right. I'm getting some tips from his girlfriend on which lines to take. Which lines you reckon? Just want a way out here. Get a few tips on the lines that we have. <laughs> Not many tips to give us, sir. Really? Why do you It's pretty balls out. Bit of one line in the first place, isn't it? Up and downhill, but it'll get all right. I think it'll start getting a bit chewed out. What's this log like? Log like. Log like. Like the arm pump? No. Once really? you've got arm pump, you've been nailing it. But honestly, arm pump is the worst in the world. I often find if you get pumped up in practice, that's it for the day. Then I hope that guy's not going to be grading any spots. Bike's working good. We went for a scoop tire, which is working on the start, but the track's pretty tricky and hard, so might have to reevaluate for the race. Come on, George, you Freddie Gardner. What are you saying, Angus? And Gardner around the outside in turn two. On the gap, we have the slingshot. I'm just going to get naughty in it. 
And Rhys Jones closely follows, and then that number five right there is Carl McCullough, two-time race winner yesterday. All right, mate. Yeah, it's already coming up the hills, you're a bit like... But with that DNF, I should think Carl is out of podium contention. I thought it would be easy, and I was casing In terms of the overall results. Well, that's it. We'd like to have reported back with some better results, but it was a tough old day. Um, third in qualifying and fourth in the first moto. Big crash in the second one. We had a bit of a rear brake problem on the second or third lap and just coming down one of the hills, missed the back brake or the back brake didn't work. And then, yeah, just kind of went over the bars and hit my head and bent all the bars up. and carried on, managed to get the bike going and carried on, finished the moto, but I think we were 13th or 14th, so yeah, we've pretty much give 25 points away already, which is not ideal, but um, we'll live to fight another day, need to go back, do a bit of homework, try and figure out a couple of things, and uh, yeah, we'll come back in the next one and hopefully we'll uh, 
will be more upfront and more consistent. But it's amazing how you think, yeah, we need to try and be really consistent and, and not make any mistakes. And straight away, we've already made a couple. So tricky, but uh, never mind. Let's uh, get back, get back to the drawing board, and make it happen. <laughs> 